So what Eric Carle does to make his illustrations is that he paints these giant pieces of paper and then he cuts shapes out of those papers and puts them together to make his pictures. So for instance, like in Walter the Baker, he had some giant papers that looked like this and then he cut out the shape for Walter's sleeve and his shirt. And like on head to toe, look at that. Those, isn't that a huge, pretty, beautiful paper? And then the tiny seed, you can see like the splatter paint, and it made the background for this page. And even in The Very Lonely Firefly, at the very beginning, look at the beautiful painting that he did. So now I'm going to show you how you can make your own Eric Carle painting at home. And today it's just going to be part one, so that way it'll save my paper. So really, you can use any materials you want. You can use crayons, markers, paints, chalk, anything you have around, as long as there's just four different ones. And you can even do different patterns. So like I did a solid yellow, I think that's going to be his light. I did um, some stripes, I did some checks, I'll do some polka dots, because that makes me happy, I like polka dots. And that will all help with um, the different parts of the firefly. Another thing that you can do is to layer your colors. So for instance, on my yellow, since it's kind of boring, maybe I want to put little sparkles on it. Because if my tail is going to be um, bright and light, maybe I want it to be sparkly. So you could do that too. But as long as you just have four different colors, you can pick any ones you want. Okay. Um, I'm all done with part one. Tomorrow you can tune in and I'll show you how you can cut out the different pieces and um, make your own firefly.